Good evening for a change. I know it feels really weird not saying good morning and no that is not a sunrise that is a sunset. I thought I would do something a little bit different today. I am doing a moonrise vlog. Now in the past I have done a sunrise vlog but never a moonrise and the reason for this is because tonight is the sturgeon moon and it is the third super moon of the year and I wanted to get out and photograph it. So Derek and I have decided to hike up a really big hill here in the Peak District and we're hoping to catch it rising within the next 20 to 25 minutes. And I couldn't not bring you along. Now the Sturgeon Moon is so cold because in North America, the tribes named it as such due to the high population and the abundance of sturgeon in the rivers around about this time of year, so in August. And that is where the name comes from. I think I have seen a supermoon before. Pretty sure I've photographed one. If I have, I will put it on the screen somewhere for you. But I remember it being very cold and quite windy. So it is really warm tonight and it should be a good night. It is very unplanned. I literally, hang on, let me go back into the light. It's getting dark, so my camera is auto-focusing. It is literally a last minute decision to film this. I decided about an hour ago to actually film it and only this afternoon did I notice that it was a super moon tonight. So it's going to be very much a relaxed vlog style video. So I hope you enjoy it. Right, I'm going to go and try and get set up and look for a good place to try and photograph this. Things have taken a turn. <laughs> we expected the moon to be rising around about 10 past nine. It's now going on for half past nine and we are currently walking around a graveyard like you do because we live in a valley in the Peak District and we underestimated just high how, how high the hills are behind us. So over here, the moon is going to be coming up up there somewhere, <laughs> but at the moment it's down here. So it's got all that way to go, which apparently will take another hour for it to get up. And we were planning as well to get a good bit of foreground interest. This is why you should never do anything last minute. We were planning on getting some good foreground interest in the form of an old ruined barn. Nice stone ruined barn. You can't beat that kind of silhouette with the moon in the background. However, the first barn is now having building works done all the way around the perimeter of it. So getting the angle right would be terrible. The second barn is covered in leaves and trees because obviously it's summer and last time we were here it wasn't. So that's not gonna give a good angle anyway. So now the plan is there's a bench at the end here with some trees. So the nice canopy of the trees from this area low down and then zoomed in, hopefully will make the moon look good. I have a feeling we're gonna get very disappointed <laughs> about how big the super moon's gonna be. But we're out, we're hiking, and after we've taken it from here where it's actually rising, even though it's an hour after the actual rising hour, we are then gonna be hiking a couple of miles over to the Longendale Trail to try and get it from a tree that we know that we think will look really good with the moon behind this tree. And it's going up a little back. So it will be a bit of a night hike as well, which is quite exciting. And unfortunately, we've both got work tomorrow as well, <laughs> so I think we're going to be fairly tired. But if we get a good photograph, then it will be worth it. So we shall see what happens. Well, it is starting to happen. You can see it's starting to come up over here and you can see that orange glow, which will last probably for a couple of hours. And that's apparently to do with the atmosphere and how the light is fragmented but that's more technical than my knowledge, <laughs> but you can read all about it. Let me show you the back of my camera. This is the glow that I'm currently getting. I've just framed some trees over the top of it. There's not a lot to work with up here, but wow, that glow is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> That was quite epic, I'm not going to lie, it was so amazing watching a moon rise, it was magical. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see what I can see because otherwise you're just staring at me 
with my hand in front of my head so much. <laughs> so we've got the back of my camera, which is set up with my 100 to 400 Canon lens on it. And there is the moon. And for anyone interested in what settings I am using, let me just see if I can get the light on this better for you. There you go. We have got 160th of a shutter speed. We have got an aperture of eight, an ISO of 200, and it is on manual focus. And the image stability is turned off because it is on a tripod. And it is incredible. We are heading to our second destination. So hopefully we're gonna get a tree in front of the moon when it's nice and bright and it's a couple of miles away. So fingers crossed, this is gonna work out. Well, that didn't go quite as planned. <laughs> if anybody is planning on heading out to photograph a moon, first of all, plan it well in advance. Check your location. Check your camera fits the tree in that you want it to fit on the screen and also work out exactly how you want it to look because I have only done this once before and it was pretty tricky tonight trying to get any decent shot without even shots without either blowing out the moon or getting the tree blurry. So it was challenging. I did get a couple of pictures of the moon itself, but I have got a lot to learn when it comes to photographing things in front of the moon. So it's going to be something I can work on in the future, but it has been so much fun trying and I am not an expert at everything. <laughs> I definitely am not an expert at nighttime photography for sure. It is a learning technique, but it has been fun trying it out. And that's the thing. It's a matter of getting outside, having a go with things, having a walk at the same time. And if it doesn't work, figure out why it's not worked and then fix it. So hopefully next time when I do it again, not this year, because there isn't any more super moons this year, it will be better. But I hope you've enjoyed this little night hike with me. And I can finally say it, seeing as it's after midnight now. Good morning. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Dear, I'm no longer scared. Glow brings me comfort. I'm filled with light Tiptoe dance with me Through the shadows